What's up guys, my name is Brad, and for those of you that have no idea what I do, I make helpful Maple Story videos for you guys. Uh, today's helpful Maple Story video is going to be about the Mulong challenges. And the reason that I want to talk about these is because right now, to my knowledge, it's the only way of obtaining Renegade coins. Besides leveling up. Alright, after saving my wife from a spider, I am back. And what I was trying to say is that this is the only way of obtaining Renegade coins besides leveling up, leveling up your character. And I just want to show you guys how hard this thing is on a normal setting. Let's see. Besides normal, there's a hardcore, or a hard, I don't think there's a hardcore. And then there's a ranked challenge one. And that one is good for obtaining some really, really strong loves. If you chat, like if you place in the top something, the top 20s. Did I just lag? I'm missing a buff. There you go. Okay, so, yeah, I know this isn't applicable to everyone of you that watches my videos because I'm 146 of Dark Knight, and these guys are tough as nails. And I'm, I'm not OP'd. I don't think I am OP'd. I just want to show you my equipment right now. See? It's just regular equipment. Like, it's not too bad. Oh, the monkey. Boop. Oh, I wonder if I can kill him just by touching him. Hit me. Wow. I almost could. Yeah, OP means overpowered. How'd you figure that out, love? The only reason I ask her is because she's not a gamer. See, yeah, Buah. yeah, you are. Why do you? As you can tell, this isn't very hard, and I can beat normal without a problem. Here comes the boss. Boss. Let's see. I forgot what the boss is. Come on, spawn faster. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. See, it's not that hard. They do drop these Mulong emblems. I have no idea what they're for. I'm assuming. Now I'm assuming. Hang on. Oh, when you reach the spawn, you can actually. What is this? You can get a buff. I'm gonna get a buff. A plus 60 weapon attack buff. Um. I think that only affects you if, like, it only has negative if you are in ranked mode. If you're not in ranked mode, I don't think it affects you at all. Yeah. Well, anywho, what I was trying to say was, what was I trying to say? Crap, I forgot my spot. Ah! I'm not OP. <laughs> oh, well. Oh, what I was trying to say is, I can, I can be um, normal mode without a problem, but hard mode, it's a problem because I run out of MP before I get to like uh, the, the last boss, and, or the second to last boss, and I can't pass him because I have no MP to attack with. So I'm pretty much just stuck being like punched by him, and I can live. I can keep attacking him with my normal attack, and I won't die because Dark Knights are freaking strong, but I, I run out of time and I fail the stage. You have a 10 minute timer plus a stage timer. The stage timer is underneath the 10 minute timer. Once you reach 10 minutes, you fail. But also, you fail if the stage timer goes down to zero, or the bar goes down to nothing. And you just gotta watch out for that. But that's what I'm trying to say, is that I can't beat hard mode just because I run out of stage timer. Does anyone know how to recover MP while you're in hard mode? Because I don't. There's a recovery for 100% HP, but oh, uh, before I uh, forget, this is last boss. Wow. See, he's not that bad. Or maybe he's not that bad because I'm 146, but that's it. I have beaten the Mulong Dojo Quest or challenge. Yeah, thumbs up, bro. Okay, so accept your little coins and hooray. Oh, hooray. <laughs> Three Renegade coins. I'm up at 13 Renegade coins. And you can get more Renegade Coins if you finish the other challenges. Like, the hard mode, you get four, and rank, you get five. Thanks for watching my video, guys. I really appreciate it. If you like it, please like it, subscribe, and leave a comment. It would really help me out. And I will be making more cool videos in the near future. See you guys later.